Hello everyone, in this video I will be showcasing the simple basketball game I have created using the C++ graphics library. Uh, I will walk you through a demonstration of how the game works and also provide an explanation of the code I have written. Uh, if you are interested in running and playing the game yourself, you can find the code in the description below. Uh, this project can serve as a great learning experience for beginners. Uh, so let's dive right into the demonstration. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is our basketball game window. Uh, we have a basketball hoop on the right and on the ground on the bottom. The ball rests at the left corner, ready to be launched. Uh, to play the game, the user needs to input the launch angle and velocity for the basketball. Uh, let's just start doing that. Uh, ensure your angle is in degrees and velocity is in pixels per second. Uh, let's enter an angle of 60 degrees and a velocity of 100 pixels per second to start with. Uh, as the basketball moves, you can see it following a projectile motion trajectory just like in a real life. Uh, oops, we missed the shot. Uh, the game prompts whether to continue playing. I will enter Y to continue. Let's try with a smaller velocity. Uh, we missed again. Let's try with 93. Yep, we have a successful sort. Uh, to quit playing, we can enter N. Uh, so now that we have a demonstration, let me explain the code step by step. First, uh, we define the window size and the title using the init window command. Here the window size is set to 800 by 600 pixels. Uh, you can adjust it by changing the parameters. Uh, next uh, we declare two variables. Uh, play again stores a character. Later we will ask the user whether they want to continue playing. Uh, goal achieve is a boolean on variables set to true if we accept the goal. Uh, now we head inside the loop. Uh, we call the draw scene function. This function draws the scene of the ground, basketball court, hoop, and poles using the basic shapes and colors. Uh, we then draw the basketball, setting the color to yellow, filling the circle, and drawing it using the circle function. Uh, now, then we call the user to input the launch angle and velocity of the basketball sort and store the values. Uh, we convert angles to radians for convenience and define constant for gravity and time interval. Uh, now comes the important part, simulating projectile motion. Uh, we set the initial positions of x and y, then calculate x and y components of the velocity. Using the equations of motions from physics, we update the position of the ball. Uh, and this position continues until the ball reaches the ground again. Uh, if there is an if condition for winning, if x and y values fall within the range of basketball hood, goal achieve is set to true and we win. Uh, breaking out of the loop, we display goal or try again message accordingly. Uh, after the projectile motion, we prompt the user to play again. We reset goal achieve to false, clear the device, and if the condition is met, we go back to drawing the scene asking for user input and simulating again. Otherwise, you display the message space and key to quit and close the graphics window. We can make this game even more interesting by making some changes. For instance, we can limit the number of tries allowed per player and keep track of the final scores. Uh, I'm gonna leave this to you. If you have any other ideas to modify or improve the game, feel free to share them in the comment section below. I know this is nothing as compared to the games we have today, but this is how the game development started, right? And um, projects like this not only offer an opportunity to improve our programming skills, but also provide a practical application for learning physics concepts like project and motions. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you found this video enjoyable and informative, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with more content like this.